Welcome back to another teardown. Here I have a cool little device today. It's the Samsung Freestyle Portable Projector. Now this projector is really cool. It's a smart projector with a smart hub built in. So you can stream things like Netflix, YouTube, those type of apps on there. You can also cast your phone right to this projector. You can buy a portable battery so you can travel around and just beam this up anywhere you want on any wall up to 100 inches. So let's go ahead, tear it down and see what's inside. So starting off with the bottom of the projector, we're gonna flip it over and remove the protective rubber feet. After we have the rubber feet removed, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the metal plate and gently pull up on the metal plate and that will release it from the projector. Now we can slide the silicone sleeve off the projector housing. Along the side here, there is some double-sided tape right where you would connect your HDMI or mute the microphone. So you can Simply pry up around to loosen the double-sided tape. And you can see here, this is where the double-sided tape is located. These silicone sleeves are interchangeable, so you can always buy different colors and swap these out when yours gets old. Now we're gonna flip the projector over to the bottom side and remove four Phillips screws. And once you have those four Phillips screws removed, we're gonna gently pull up on the speaker grill here. And you'll notice inside here, there is a small little connector. We do need to undo that connector to remove this piece here. And this removes the bottom plate. Here we have the speaker for the projector. Now the bottom is completely disassembled. We're gonna flip it over to its side and you'll notice there are two Phillips screws on the side of the body, one right here and another one right there. Go ahead and take those out as well. Now on the projector, we can start to pry it apart using a standard pry tool. You'll notice one side of the projector comes off fairly easily. Be careful here because there is a ribbon cable attached to it right here. Peel up on this tape here and disconnect the ribbon cable. And this here looks like it could be the microphone as indicated here. It says two channel mic. Now we have two Phillips screws to remove at the top here to remove the touch panel. Once those two screws have been removed, the touch panel simply just comes right off. There is a connector attached here. So simply undo that connector. And here you have your lens cover and touch panel, as well as your autofocusing sensors. Now here's where it gets pretty interesting. This little projector is jam packed with components. You can see they designed these boards just so that they can cram as much components as they can in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect all these connectors first. And up here we have a thermal sensor. I'll go ahead and take that apart with this Phillips screwdriver. And be careful not to twist any of these pins on this thermal sensor. Now I'm gonna undo four Phillips screws to remove the first PCB board. And after we have all those four screws removed, we can simply lift up and that will release the first board. 
Here's a close up of that board with the connectors on the side. All right, so getting back to the projector, we have the fan located right here. We can simply just pull that out and remove it. And I'm gonna undo a few connections here. And let's go ahead and remove these four black Phillips screws to remove the second board. Now we can gently lift up and there will be a connector on the other side. And you'll need to undo these two Phillips screws to remove that connector. And that will release the second board from the projector. And here's a look at the part number as well as the board. And you can see the board says the Freestyle FB1. And now we're gonna come back to the projector and remove an additional four Phillips screws. And we should be able to pull up on the main board and release that from the projector. I'm gonna go ahead and come back to this in a minute. So from here, we can remove the side mute button as well as HDMI connector. I'm gonna go ahead and undo these ribbon cables and then undo these two screws and note that there is a wire attached to these two screws. Simply pull up on the white piece there. That will pop right off. We can grab the board now and undo the connector on the bottom and that will come right off. Here's a close up look at that part there. And then I'm gonna loosen up these two Phillips screws at the bottom. If you need some additional room, you can pull up on the speaker and that will give you some extra space to undo this Phillips screw. Now, just for safety, I'm gonna undo all of these connections This piece will come right out. Be careful because this connector is still attached. And remember, I lift it up on this one here so the cable will come out freely. This board attaches to the speaker. Simply press in on that connector to undo the speaker. And here you can see this is the speaker here. You can replace the speaker if needed. So coming back to this main board, this one says the Freestyle Main 2. I'm gonna undo this accessory connector here. And let's go ahead and remove these four Phillips screws. And now we can gently peel these two boards apart. And you can see nothing's really holding them together. This is just padding so that they can rest on each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and looking back at the housing for the projector, we have two chips located here. Go ahead and undo one Phillips screw to remove that. And that looks like it is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth transceiver. And we have one more part located in here. So coming back to the main projector, this is the projector and lens. You can see it has gears, heat sink, um, motors on it, and that's because it is an auto-focusing projector. Um, so that's really cool because it will analyze the picture and autofocus so that it has the optimal sharpness. From here, I'm not gonna tear it down too much. 
it looks like if you do need to replace it, you probably would like want to replace this entire assembly where the heat sink is attached to the lens as well as the motor and gears. So that is a quick teardown of the Samsung Freestyle Portable Projector. Again, you can project up to 100 inches on any screen or wall. If you guys do have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. Also recently guys, my friends at Grid sent me this artwork. You can see it's the original iPhone and it's all torn down um, to its component and they have a little breakdown of what each component is. This is really nice and framed. It would make a nice gift for you know, any techie or anyone who loves to tear down gadgets. Uh, make sure you go ahead and check them out if you guys are interested in something like this. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you do have any comments, go ahead, leave those down below. Leave me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.